The world's third largest commercial aircraft manufacturer has taken a revolutionary step by introducing the C-390 Millennium, its newest multi-purpose cargo aircraft. This platform has been surprising military officials and experts with its unique combination of speed, capacity, and operational flexibility, capable of competing with legends of transport aviation. However, there is still a market that Embraer dreams of conquering, a strategic territory dominated by giants that, until now, seemed unreachable. This scenario began to change when the Brazilian manufacturer approached one of the largest defense companies on the planet in a move that could redefine the future of military transport in the United States. If you're also passionate about the world of aviation, consider subscribing to the channel and supporting our team. Imagine a company that dared to challenge decades of American supremacy in military transport. Embraer didn't just dream, it built a reality that now flies through the world's skies. The project is nothing more than a current global reflection of the strategic needs of most countries, a niche that was little explored or better yet, updated. The numbers speak for themselves. With its 540 mile per hour cruise speed, it dramatically surpasses the veteran C-130 Hercules, which reaches only 367 miles per hour. Its payload capacity of 57,320 pounds and range of up to 3,977 miles place it in a category of its own, where speed and capacity meet in perfect harmony. The project was born in 2009 through a necessity of the Brazilian Air Force. The KC-390 project, as it was initially known, had a very specific mission – to create a modern successor to the aging C-130 Hercules. But Embraer saw beyond national needs. It envisioned a global market that was thirsty for innovation. But here was the real challenge – how to compete with a legend that had dominated the skies for more than half a century. There's no doubt that the Lockheed C-130 Hercules reigns supreme for years and still fulfills its role today. More than 2,500 units built, presence in 70 countries, participation in conflicts from Vietnam to modern operations in Afghanistan. But even empires have their weaknesses, and time began to exact its price on the aircraft. Many nations faced the same dilemma. C-130 fleets with decades of use, growing maintenance costs, and operational demands requiring more speed, greater cargo capacity, and superior efficiency. The moment was ripe for a revolution. Embraer dominated the regional jet market, but the military sector represented a little explored and potentially lucrative frontier. The C-390 would be the bridge between these worlds, leveraging decades of expertise in civil aviation to conquer the military arena. While the C-130 still depended on turboprop engines, the C-390 embraced modernity with its AIE V2500 E5 turbofan engines. This bold choice not only guaranteed superior speeds, but also significantly reduced noise and improved fuel efficiency, a crucial differential in modern military operations. With a cruise speed 47% superior to the C-130, the C-390 transformed medical evacuations, troop transport, and supply missions with unprecedented agility, dramatically reducing time compared to its predecessor. The C-390's cargo compartment, measuring 60.7 feet in length, 11.3 feet in width, and 9.7 feet in height, was designed for maximum versatility. Its rear ramp allows rapid loading of vehicles, equipment, or NATO standardized pallets. The incorporation of advanced composite materials and state-of-the-art aerodynamics resulted in a lighter, more efficient, and more resistant aircraft. Each component was designed for operations in hostile environments, from scorching deserts to Arctic regions. With an initial investment of $1.7 billion from the Brazilian government, the KC-390 project was officially born in 2009. 
Strategic partnerships with Argentina, Portugal, and the Czech Republic guaranteed international expertise and potential markets. The following years were of intense trials. Tests at altitudes of 41,010 feet, operations in temperatures of minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit in Canada, missions in humid tropical climates, and landings on dirt runways in the Amazon region. Each test validated not only the aircraft's robustness, but its operational versatility. And this was beginning to catch the attention of major market players. To complete the package, advanced diagnostic systems allow predictive maintenance, reducing ground time and operational costs. While the C-130 requires 26 hours of maintenance for each flight hour, the C-390 only needs 8 hours, a decisive economic advantage. But the real test was yet to come. In September 2019, the Brazilian Air Force received its first operational C-390 Millennium. Initial operations exceeded expectations. Humanitarian missions in Venezuela, medical supply transport during the pandemic, and search and rescue operations in the Amazon region. Each test validated not only the aircraft's robustness, but its operational versatility. Portugal became the first international customer, ordering five units to replace its aging C-130s. Hungary followed with two aircraft, validating Embraer's European strategy. Each contract represented not just revenue, but credibility in the competitive defense market. In 2024, amid tensions in Eastern Europe, Slovakia signed an agreement for two C-390 aircraft. The decision reflected not only technical merit, but also the search for reliable suppliers outside traditional Russian or American influence. But all these successes were just preparation for the ultimate challenge, conquering the American market. The data doesn't lie. C-390, maximum speed 540 miles per hour, range 3,977 miles, payload 57,320 pounds. In practically all performance parameters, the Brazilian aircraft surpasses the C-130. Both aircraft can be configured with air-to-air -air refueling systems, but the C-390 offers higher transfer speed due to its superior velocity, a critical factor in modern combat operations. Operating costs, 20% lower, availability, 30% superior, and significantly reduced maintenance requirements make the C-390 an economically irresistible proposition for air forces with tight budgets. The recent integration of electronic warfare systems from Israeli company Elbit Systems transformed the C-390 from a simple cargo aircraft into a multi-mission military platform. This strategic partnership added decades of real combat experience. Directional infrared countermeasure systems and Spear ECM electronic warfare suites offer active protection against guided missiles and hostile electronic interference. The Netherlands, Austria, and other NATO members showed interest in the militarized version. The possibility of standardization within the alliance represented a multi-billion dollar market. But the ultimate prize still awaited, penetrating the American market, traditionally closed to foreign suppliers. In August 2025, Knight Aerospace, a leading American company in palletized and modular solutions for air transport, announced the signing of a long-term contract with Embraer for the supply of roll-on, roll-off systems for the KC-390 Millennium multi-mission aircraft. This partnership represents much more than a simple commercial agreement. It's the key to opening the American market. For years, Embraer tried to penetrate the American military market without significant success. Rigid regulations, preference for domestic suppliers, and lobbying from the established industry created seemingly insurmountable barriers, even though it was already consolidated in executive aviation. Knight Aerospace, a San Antonio-based company specializing in medical and VIP modules for military aircraft, became the ideal partner. Its expertise in modular solutions perfectly complements the C-390's capabilities, creating integrated offerings for American customers. 
To compete in U.S. Air Force bids, aircraft must be assembled on American soil. Negotiations with Northrop Grumman and other companies explore partnerships to establish a C-390 assembly line in the USA. By mid-2025, more than 40 C-390 aircraft have been delivered or are in the delivery process to Brazil, Portugal, Hungary, the Netherlands, and Slovakia. Each additional operator adds credibility and generates valuable operational data for future sales. The partnership with Knight Aerospace marks a historic turning point. For the first time, a Brazilian defense company has real access to the American market, not as a secondary supplier, but as a strategic partner offering cutting-edge technology. The future holds immense challenges. Fierce competition with the C-130J Super Hercules, geopolitical pressures, and the constant need for innovation. But the C-390's trajectory so far demonstrates that when Brazilian engineering meets business determination, even American skies can be conquered. The story is still being written, but one thing is certain. The C-390 Millennium transformed Embraer from a regional manufacturer into a global defense player. And this is just the beginning of a journey that promises to redefine the future of worldwide military transport.